What's up, man? It's Frankie, man. Let me say I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video for entertainment purposes only, whatever I say in this video is my opinion, may not necessarily be factual. Don't buy, sell, or hold a stock because of anything that I say in this video. And Ramadan Mubarak, man, to all the Muslims that may be embracing Ramadan, hopefully you're reading the Quran like you're supposed to and you're getting all your prayers in. And hopefully you're fasting, getting everything done the way you need to get it done. Look, when it comes to Adam Aaron and retail investors, in my opinion, man, Adam Aaron has done nothing, man, but shit on retail investors over and over again. That's all he's done. Just shit on retail investors. After we made him and his family millions of dollars. And see, the thing is, from the beginning, like I said, retail investors, particularly leaders in our play, we should have kept the relationship with Adam Aaron business-like. That's the way it should have been done. You know, the, 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 the leaders in the community should have let him know that Man, if you screw over retail investors, it'll be consequences. That's the same way these short sellers and Terra Capital, you know, all these other, these one percenters that he do business with, he know not to screw them, see, because he know it's consequences, but he'll screw us, but he's not going to screw over them. And see these one percenters, these hedge funds, these short sellers, even the powers to be, in my opinion, none of them wanted us to have a Moaz, none of them. It was not advantageous, you know, for them, for us to have a Moaz. So you had a lot of people, you know, in our community, they teamed up with the hedge funds and the short sellers to make sure that we didn't have a Moaz. They voted yes on the proposal. They voted in the way that hedge funds and short sellers wanted us to vote. Hedge funds and short sellers, man, they wanted a yes vote. So in essence, what you had, you had some eights. And you had you had some retail investors. They sold out when it comes to the and when it came to the Moaz, because they voted the way one percenters wanted them to vote. That's what they want. And see, Adam Aaron, he keep doing what he doing to retail investors simply because of the fact that there is no fear there. There is no respect when it comes to Adam when 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 it, when it comes to Adam Aaron dealing with retail investors. He don't respect us because see, normally people will respect you out of fear and love. He don't have neither one. So there's no respect for us when it comes to Adam Aaron. That's why he keep doing what he wants to do to us over and over again. The only thing he look, Adam Aaron don't want to lose his cash cow to a Moaz, which is retail investors. He don't want us to have a Moaz. Like I said, he want us to be trapped in this stock. You know, he's He's not allowing us to get what we want out of the stock because, like I said, it's not advantageous to him or the one percent. He, he has a one percent of mindset. A lot of people, man, they just don't understand it. So, man, it's like he don't feel like we deserve to get life changing money out of this stock. And you got some retail investors and some ace what they simply did for their own personal reason. They pumped out. They sold out. They got weak. They lost conviction in the play. You know, they lost patience with the play. And for their own personal reasons, they voted, man, to help him. It don't, don't think that they don't know that uh, what Adam Aaron is doing and a lot of things, and they don't know that a lot of things that he's doing is wrong. They know. They just willing to overlook it. You see, overlook it. And see, like I said, really when it comes to a lot of them in the short squeeze play and the, or the Moaz, they just quit. You see, the minute, man, you had apes and retail investors started saying something like they want a short squeeze play based on fundamentals, or they started agreeing with giving up 90% of their shares, or letting hedge funds delete 90% of their shares through a reverse stock split. At that time, man, what they said to me was that they quit. They just did it in a slick way. See what I'm saying? But what they were saying was that they quit. And see, when you voted yes on the proposals, what you agreed to do is let them steal your money, steal retail investors' money. What you what you agreed to do was, in my opinion, was kill the chance of making life changing money and a transfer of wealth. And someone would say something like, some of the apes or some of the retail investors, you know, that voted yes, that follow Adam Aaron blindly, they'll say something like, Frank and Muhammad, you know, Al from Boston, you know, Donahue George. The Marine, Froggy Styles. They said those guys some shields. They shields. No, we're not shields. No, it's called, man, having a certain level of integrity. Integrity. Having some character. 
and staying loyal to what you said you was going to be loyal to. And that's called a Moaz. That's it. We're not shields. Okay. Everybody that I just named, they still talking about damn ahead. They talking about, man, not giving up your shares. They talking about not letting hedge funds delete 90% of their shares. But they shields. But now the people using reverse psychology, trying to call those ape shields, they the ones that say, man, give up 90% of your shares. You know, help hedge funds, you know, um, lose um 90% of their shares, man. Get them a discount when they got a cover. Or don't worry about a Moaz. Now you waiting on the short squeeze play based on fundamentals. But they not shields, though. But the ones that sticking to what we said in the beginning, they shields. Hey, man, it's reverse psychology. They know what he's doing. But see what a lot of them will close on this, man. What a lot of them is doing is this right here. See, some of them, man, they get, I say, I've been doing online marketing for 10 years, network marketing. I've been online. I understand the importance of traffic. See, a lot of them trying to make money with their YouTube channel. So in order for you to do that, man, you got to have traffic. If you start speaking out against Adam Aaron, you're going to lose traffic. In return, they lose ad revenue. They lose money, man. They can't pump stocks like they want to. So that's the reason why they was willing to overlook a lot of the things, man, that Adam Aaron was doing. Because of their own personal need. They sold out the Moads for their own personal need. They need the traffic coming to their YouTube channel. They need ad revenues. You see what I'm saying? So that's why their character and their integrity is questionable. Because they know what he's doing is wrong. But it's about ad revenue and it's about making money. The rest of them, man, they want to run up. They want to try to get out of the play. They don't want the play to go on no longer. So they don't want to come out and say, man, they don't want the Moads. But that's what it is. They hoping for a runner, hoping they'll make a little bit of money, man, after the reverse stock split, you know, hoping that they can get out of the play. But really what they did, they saw the Moaz, but here's what I'm going to say, and I'm going to close once again. The thing is, y'all better hope, man, the people that push the yes vote, you better hope, man, that you get more than just doing the reverse stock split. You just get the price that you get after the reverse stock split, $50, $60, or whatever it is. You better hope you get more than that. And then the stock just get diluted down and people lost 90% of their shares because of some shit that y'all pushed. The devil and the one percenters, in my opinion, they should let it squeeze a little bit. They should get your run up since you sold the more ass out. They should give you something. But if they decide not to give you nothing and the only thing that you do is you get the price of the reverse stock split, $50 or whatever, then they dilute it down. Man, y'all some suckers and y'all got played. Thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.